Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to the Sun, situated in the constellation Centaurus. It is around 424 light-years from Earth. The Alpha Centauri system comprises three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. This star is one of the three in the group. Among the primary G-type stars in this system, Alpha Centauri A is the most luminous. It has a hue comparable to that of our Sun. Alpha Centauri B is a relatively cooler and smaller K-type star in comparison to the Sun. Consequently, the nearest red dwarf star to Earth is Proxima Centauri. Despite its considerable distance between A and B, it is still regarded as an integral component of this system. Astronomical study and the exploration of extraterrestrial life rely on Proxima b, situated within the Proxima Centauri system and located in the habitable zone where liquid water might potentially exist. In the Alpha Centauri system, it is customary to examine planets and stars that may harbor life. Although the Alpha Centauri A and B star system functions as a binary star system separately, they interact with each other in a very strong gravitational system. It is clear that Alpha Centauri A is a G-type main-sequence star which has characteristics similar to our Sun, generating energy through nuclear processes within it, where hydrogen is converted into helium. This process releases light and heat as a result. With a size and temperature similar to the Sun, Alpha Centauri A goes through a stable life phase and produces a continuous bright light for millions of years. Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B are located about 23.6 AU astronomical units from the center of gravity of the system. One orbital period lasts approximately 7991 years. The main type K star, Alpha Centauri B, is smaller and cooler than Alpha Centauri B. This indicates that it produces a lower amount of light than Alpha Centauri A. Although it is not as bright as Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B also generates energy through nuclear reactions but at a lower rate. This star also lives stably, but because of its smaller size, it will live for a shorter time. The distance between Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B changes because both have elliptical orbits. They are closer at one part of their orbit and farther apart at another. Alpha Centauri A and B are members of the binary star system and share the same orbit. Despite the differences in their sizes and luminosities, their gravitational pull causes them to travel in a convoluted elliptical orbit. Both stars may become closer to one another during specific periods of their orbits due to these elliptical paths. This can affect several physical parameters, such as the temperature stability of a planet that might orbit one of the stars and the interaction between the gravitational field and radiation. Proxima Centauri is the third star in the system, farther than Alpha Centauri A and B. It is the star in the system that is closest to Earth, although it is farther away. In the Alpha Centauri system, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to Earth. However, it does not orbit directly around Alpha Centauri A or B, Besides the Sun, Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our solar system, at a distance of about 4.24 light-years from Earth. Although Proxima Centauri is part of the Alpha Centauri system, it does not orbit directly around Alpha Centauri A or B. On the contrary, it is far below these two main stars. Proxima Centauri is farther in the system than Alpha Centauri A and B because it is about 0.21 light-years from them. Despite moving further away from Alpha Centauri A and B, Proxima Centauri remains within their gravitational field. Unlike the two main stars, Proxima Centauri moves on a different trajectory. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star that is smaller, cooler and less luminous than stars like the Sun or Alpha Centauri A. Although it is the closest star to Earth, it produces only 0.0 or 1% of the Sun's light. 
Because of its small size and low surface temperature around 3050 K compared to 5500 K for the Sun, Proxima Centauri can only be seen through a telescope. The planet Proxima b orbits Proxima Centauri and is located in the habitable zone, where water can exist in liquid form. This location presents an intriguing opportunity for astrobiology studies. Thus far, three planets have been identified in the Proxima Centauri system. The following are the Proxima b, c, and d. Proxima b is a rocky planet similar to Earth, located approximately 7.5 million kilometers away from Proxima Centauri. It has a mass 1.17 times that of Earth and orbits Proxima Centauri for approximately 11.2 days. Uniquely, this planet may have liquid water on its surface and is habitable. One side is constantly facing the star, eternal day, and the other is in the dark, eternal night, when confronting tidal locking. It may have an atmosphere, but it is vulnerable to Proxima Centauri's powerful star flares. About 223 million kilometers away from Proxima Centauri, Proxima C is a super-Earth or mini-Neptune, bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, with a mass seven times that of Earth and an orbital period of roughly 5.2 years. This planet's distinctive characteristics include its distance from the habitable zone, which makes it too cold to sustain liquid water, the possibility that it possesses a Saturn-like ring system, and its extremely low surface temperature, which is thought to be roughly 200 degrees C. About 4.5 million kilometers separate Proxima d from Proxima Centauri, a small rocky planet, sub-Earth, with a mass of roughly 0.29 times that of Earth and an orbital period of roughly 5.15 Earth days. This planet is one of the smallest ever found in other star systems, and its peculiarities include being too close to the star, which makes it too hot for liquid water or life as we know it. Two potential planets, Proxima Centauri c and d, orbit the star Proxima Centauri. Announced in 2020, Proxima C is outside the habitable zone and larger than Earth. The smaller 2022 announced Proxima D orbits in five days and is extremely close to the parent star. Researchers still need to confirm both of them as actual planets in that system. Proxima B is regarded to have the potential to be a habitable zone due to where it is located within its solar system and the characteristics of the planet itself. Around 4.24 light-years away from the Sun, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri is located in the habitable zone. It is the star that is closest to the Sun. The range of temperatures at which liquid water can exist on a planet is known as the habitable zone. This range of temperatures is essential for the existence of life on Earth, and it is located in there. Proxima b is not a gas giant, but rather a rocky planet that is comparable to Earth. Its mass and size are around 1.17 times that of Earth, according to those estimations. It is more likely that life will exist on rocky planets since these planets have solid surfaces that are capable of producing stable atmospheres and oceans when they are inhabited. If the atmosphere of the planet is dense enough, heat may be contained and moderate temperatures can be maintained, which will allow liquid water to remain on the surface. According to accurate temperature estimations, the surface temperature may be able to sustain liquid water in the habitable zone. In order to investigate the composition of Proxima b's atmosphere and search for biosignatures, which are evidence of life, scientists may employ cutting-edge telescopes, such as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, due to the fact that Proxima b is so close to Earth. This planet has the potential to be livable, Nevertheless, there are a number of challenges that could render it less hospitable. Red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, which is extremely active, is known to produce powerful stellar flares on a regular basis. It is possible that the atmosphere of the planet could deteriorate as a consequence, which will put life in danger. Furthermore, it is possible that this planet is tidally locked, which means that one side of the planet is constantly facing the star and is hot, while the other side is always in the dark and freezing. 
Without the magnetic field that is present on Earth, Proxima b will have a difficult time protecting itself from the radiation that is found in space. Proxima b is recognized as a significant object due to its proximity to the solar system, its size being comparable to that of Earth, and its location within the habitable zone. It is required to conduct additional research in order to determine whether or not it is suitable for life. Due to its location in the habitable zone of the star closest to the Sun, Proxima Centauri b is considered one of the most intriguing exoplanets. Several mission concepts are currently under study to explore this system, despite the significant technological barriers. The main obstacle is facing a distance of about 4.24 light years, or 40 trillion kilometers from Earth to travel to Proxima Centauri b. Using the technology currently available in space, such as Voyager, it would take 70,000 years to reach that location. To reach this star in a few decades, the spacecraft needs to move at a speed 10-20% faster than light, about 30,000 to 60,000 kilometers per second. Researchers are now striving to achieve speed through technologies such as solar sails and lasers, as well as building spacecraft that can withstand radiation and cosmic dust that can quickly damage electronics. The radio signals coming from Proxima Centauri b to Earth take about 4.24 years. To ensure the success of this mission, we must also plan to operate it autonomously, eliminating the need for immediate instructions from Earth. Yuri Milner, Stephen Hawking, and Mark Zuckerberg established Breakthrough Initiatives, an organization that funds the Breakthrough Starshot project and hopes that within 20 to 30 years, a group of mini probes, referred to as starships, will be sent to the Proxima Centauri system. The key technology is the nano laser sail, which combines high powered lasers originating from Earth to propel a lightweight sail to speeds 20% faster than the speed of light. Using this technique will face several obstacles, the most significant being the construction of a sufficiently powerful laser, 100 gigawatts, and the durability of the small probe as it moves at such high speeds. Furthermore, there exists a theory that proposes the alteration of space-time to enable travel at speeds surpassing light. Experimental concepts such as the warp drive, also known as the Alcubierre engine, support this theory. However, it is still in the theoretical phase, and it requires an extremely high amount of energy, referred to as negative mass, to make a lot of thrust using the matter-antimatter process. Antimatter propulsion, on the other hand, needs to be able to store antimatter safely. At this time, there is no approach that can be considered realistic. Another thing to consider is that fusion-powered starships generate energy using nuclear reactions similar to those occurring in the sun. Projects like Project Daedalus and Project Icarus continue to investigate these reactions. We will be able to study extraterrestrial life if Proxima Centauri b has an atmosphere or water. It might be able to support microbial life or biological signs. These are the effects and benefits of our journey to Proxima Centauri b. By conducting scientific research, we can also understand red dwarf stars and their effects on the planets nearby. Revolutionary technology also has the potential to promote innovation in fields such as artificial intelligence, AI, interstellar communication, and space propulsion. This mission has the potential to pave the way for human settlements established beyond the solar system in the future. There is reason to feel optimistic about the possibility of exploring outer space in the future, even though the technology for interstellar travel is still in its early stages. This exploration advances humanity's transition into an interplanetary species and the discovery of other life forms.